everybody. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. This is your humble, dear, spicy Uncle Carl from the new and improved blue collar, more blue collar studios uh, located in my uh, basement area, if you will. Um, how are you doing? It's been a while and I I apologize. I've been a little bit busy with, you know, a bit of this, a sprinkle of that. Life, work, toiling away, doing the blue collar things that you and I do to just stay in the middle class. And that's just what we do. That's what blue collar people do. They they work, they toil away to feed their family. Speaking of feeding, tonight what I got was Pizza Hut. Now I got their classic pan-style pizza. I think I deserve a pizza after my little hiatus if you will. And uh, I just kind of wanted to um, show you people uh, what, what, what I remember and what I refer to sometimes as uh, Pizza Hut's classic style. Um, right now they're having a, a, a thing online, at least in my particular area, where you can get any large pizza for 10 bucks. You know, pan style or new hand tossed junk and uh, whatever. Uh, the thin crust, if you will. I um, and I thought, you know, I deserved it, I need this, and um, it's a good way to bring everything back to full circle on the, the Carl Network. My producers worked very hard. I can already tell you that um, lighting's going to be an issue in this location, so I might buy another light. I might not buy it, but my large production crew might. Anyway, let's open this puppy up. Now, as you can see... One thing uh, that I've noticed immediately is they put two little uh, island things that should be right in the middle, you know, but they put two of them in the middle of two individual slices, which makes no sense to me. It smells great. Uh, just got delivered not too long ago. Um, I must admit I did peek at it before I, you know, showed it to you. I knew that that was a kind of mess up. The guy... Uh, was a little flabbergasted by my attire. I answer the door or go to the restaurant dressed as such. That's part of my deal. Anyway, let's take a bite. Enough talking. Okay. Now, on this pizza, I got a pepperoni and Italian sausage. My go-to's. Speaking of, tonight we're drinking... What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I actually forgot. Ezra, I think that's how it's pronounced, Brooks. It was like $12.99 for a liter. Usually means it's bad, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's not great, so, you know, but for the price, not terrible. Now, it's been a while since I've had this style. You know, I like to try new things. You know this. And, um, so it's been a while since I've had their true and tried pan-style pizza. It's what Pizza Hut's done for years. You know, and so, what I can tell you is this. Um, now that I'm looking at it objectively, it's very greasy. You know, I mean, that bottom is just, you know, absolutely, ah, just that, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's well cooked, but, and sorry for making the inflection, but, you know, my producer just tells me and coaches me all the time about, you know, left, right is opposite, and it's kind of more of a, a mirror, uh, not, not a mirror, but, you know, like a opposite of a mirror, but I think this is a mirror, you know, um, it doesn't work well. Anyway, it, it's not burnt, the bottom isn't, but it's very greasy. I mean, I don't know if you could see that, but it's just, to the hand, I mean, my, my hands are sparkling. I mean, they're just, they're absolutely sparkling. Very greasy. Pepperoni quality. It's okay. You know? Nothing spectacular, but, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Um, 
Italian sausage is decent. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are the same toppings that are used on other Pizza Hut varietals, and that's okay. The sauce is um, tangy yet sweet, um, which is fine. And uh, let's just go ahead and get into this crust here. Let's hope I can. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to just bite this end right here. Got my own kitchen towel, not towel, but you know, paper napkin or whatever. Paper towel, I think is what it's called. It's a very greasy pizza. The crust is pretty good though. I mean, it's a thicker crust, it's gooey. Um, everything's fine with it. Um, I base Pizza Hut on their standardized pizza here. This is this is what that is. Um, is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, for $10, it's a really good deal. But let's say, if it wasn't on special, it was $10. What would I rate this? Let's see. three right plus the flavor index that's the key in my ratings that's why you get so many decimals is a flavor index it's a personalized palate experience that that only your Carl can really describe it tries to objectively break down what it really is worth in numbers so Based on my calculations, this is going to get a little under a six, you know? I mean, if it, if price wasn't involved. But, since price is involved and it's $10, $10 for a large, that's a heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. So it's going to get 6.4872. Anyway, God bless. It's great to be back. We'll get everything worked out here, kink-wise, but um, I think this is a great new setting, and my producer did a really good job scouting this out. And um, thank you for staying with me and tuning in on the Spicy Carl Network. We'll talk to you soon. You take care.